Hi, if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in what is the difference between uh, study and work information, why this causes a risk to ourselves, our teams and our organisation, and a very, very simple solution which solves it. My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of Smart Wisdom, the scientifically proven next generation note taking technique. I've been helping people to manage knowledge for the last 20 years. So I've made probably a bit of a strange statement. Um, I, I've said that there's a difference between study information and work information. And I've said that this causes a risk in the workplace to ourselves, our teams and our organizations. And it's probably something that sounds a bit strange. You're probably saying you've never even thought of. And to be honest, I hadn't thought about it either. Um, but when you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain how by solving this, this issue, which I'm going to explain to you, it'll actually give you a competitive edge over people who are sitting in important meetings, interviews, coaching sessions, um, and either listening or taking traditional notes or typing on a laptop. Now I come from a position where, you know, I'm highly analytical. I will always take more detail than less. And what I found in the workplace in demanding meetings, particularly ones where there was a lot of new information, a lot of people contributing, a lot of complexity, I'd end up being on my back foot. And actually the more information I had to capture, the more on the back foot I felt. And then eventually I'll probably get to a point where I just think, ah, can't do this. Or, ah, and then I just pen down or stop typing and I'd listen. But was I doing anything wrong? And actually, when I realized that there was a structural difference between uh, study information and work information, I realized the problem wasn't mine. And I'll explain why. So here is uh, education information, and this is work information here. Yeah. And these are different features. So in education, the speed of the information as it flows to you is measured. Usually the teacher or the lecturer has hopefully prepared and they'll make some allowances for the fact that you're trying to capture what they're saying. Hopefully you're trying to capture what they're saying. Workplace, completely different. People speak at the speed I'm speaking now, which is about 120 to 140 words a minute. They make no allowances for people trying to take notes. And for those poor souls who are trying to take notes, like me back in the day, um, my recording speed is an average of, probably similar to many people, 20 to 30 words a minute. So I'm gonna miss out about a quarter or a fifth of what people are saying, which isn't very comfortable. Um, so straight away, problem there. Next is the structure of information. So in uh, study, in education, it's nice and logical as long as the teacher or the professor has uh, prepared. Occasionally they don't, so it's not so structured, but for the most part, they will have and it'll be really structured. Get into the workplace, no chance. People are all over the place and often people don't prepare for meetings. So everything is sort of, you know, disjointed. People are chipping in, really unstructured. And then here, the need. When do we actually need the information? And this is crucial. In education, we don't need the information real time. We need it at some point in the future when we're gonna be tested on it. You go to the workplace and the information is needed real time now. You haven't got time to figure it out. You need to understand now and you need to be able to understand an hour's worth of information because that's the typical length of a meeting. So you need to be able to have absolute control and absolute understanding of an hour's worth of information. And this causes a problem because all we were taught was a 2000 year old recording technique, which hasn't re changed. I was about to say it hasn't recorded but it hasn't recorded the changes. I mean, it hasn't changed in the last 2000 years. Yet we're trying to apply that to fast things that are spoken really fast, that are highly unstructured, and we need it now. If it's a recording technique, 
It's not designed for managing information in the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, a next generation technique and approach to managing information, which helps you filter, which helps you manage highly unstructured information and gives you real time understanding now. It's incredibly simple. Um, you'll be able to take it on board and it makes a huge difference. So we need to find uh, one new technique to help people increase their understanding and to help people improve their performance. Somebody says that. The first thing you do with a next generation mentality or next generation note taking technique is a deep filter. So you just focus on the important information. So need to find, uh, probably I'll take need. So we look, one new um, technique seems like a key piece of information to help people that sort of, that would be obvious by default, increase their understanding. I need that again to help people that would be sort of self-explanatory. So I would actually take out and I call it harvesting from a deep filter that knowledge. Then I would do a deep processing. So I separate it into single units and then reconnect it. And this is magical because this drives up understanding. So if I take here, need uh, one new. I'm going to abbreviate because it just helps with speed. So technique. Uh, where have we got technique? Increase understanding. And then the last bit, improve performance. So if you remember, one of the differences between uh, education information and work information is speed. By using next generation note taking, I'm doing a lot of filtering. So that makes it much easier to manage. And I get used to, and I'm training myself all the time to spot what is the important information. The next thing, this flexible structure allows me to deal with disjointed information. So it's very ad easy to add things on. So if people talk to about more aspects of the technique, I can add it on. If they then said, well, we have some more needs, I can then add that on easily. It gives me a lot more flexibility. And finally, we need the information now. So this drives up my real time understanding, but also I'm able to look at this much easier than I can at that. And the impact of that, I'll give you a couple of examples. So this is a one hour meeting that I went to. Here is my plan, but here's the knowledge that I harvested. I can look at that at a glance and interact with the other person. And I have access to that magical one hour's worth of information. So I have a dynamic overview of everything that's said. So my ability to add value is just exponentially greater. To give you an idea of how powerful next generation uh, note taking is, average understanding for most people in complex meetings, the cognitive neuroscientists found about 64%. You start doing deep filtering, deep processing, immediately goes up to 76% after just two weeks after a year goes up to 84 percent and for those people who are dyslexic and i'm dyslexic it goes up to a staggering 87 percent which means if you're dyslexic or you're non-dyslexic your real-time understanding compared with other people in that complex meeting or presentation 20 percent greater at least that for all of us is a game changer so what i recommend is um if you can, certainly if you're sitting and listening, please, please, that is a risk because of the way the brain's designed limited memory, please start, well, at least for myself, I'd always say to myself, Jonathan, come on, harvest some knowledge, take it out externally. Um, for people who are using traditional note taking, whether on paper or on a, on a laptop, I would recommend to consider this. Um, this is designed to help you manage work information. And how do I feel about doing it? I feel more professional. I feel more relaxed. I feel more in control. I always use food analogies. I mean, it is delicious. 
So I hope you, uh, you like this. If you did, please press like. Of course, if you want to comment, always feel free to comment. And please, please feel free to share with your friends, clients, colleagues, anyone who's frustrated by um, old style note taking, previous generation note taking, whether on pen and paper or laptop, and, or anybody who wants to improve their performance, you know, please feel free to share widely. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a tremendous rest of the day. Ah, and on the sides or up there or down there, you'll find a link where I've put together some more uh, tips for you on managing information effectively. Thank you.